Hello friends and welcome to your new website, Amaretto Sour. I'm Jen and I'm going to give you a little tour of everything we have going on here to hopefully make it a little bit easier for you to get started. So before we dive into the site, I want to direct you to a few different resources that you have at your disposal. Um, number one, you actually have our resource hub right here. If you go to tonicsiteshop.com slash resources, and this has links to a lot of our favorite support resources, um, show it resources and et cetera. The second thing is our learn hub right here. If you go to tonicsiteshop.com slash learn, you can see various tutorials and this is going to help make it more simple for you to notice where all the different tutorials are located. If you go to showit.com slash learn, show it as the builder that you're going to be using for your website. They have this amazing free course um, that allows you to learn show it in less than 30 minutes. It's super, super simple and they have a great way of just walking you through the platform in a super easy to understand way. The last thing that I want to direct you to is the Show It Help Center. And so this, the, sh the, the Show It Learn Hub, um, this has really everything that I can think of when it comes to using Show It and getting your site launched. So you can see that it's broken down by category, getting started, building your site, domains, launching, all of those things are in this site right here. So if you have any trouble whatsoever, check out learn.showit.com. You can also get access to that document and all of those different documents in the help docs area of show it. So when you first log in, you've just added your site to the, your, your share key to the site. This is what you're going to see. And let me just walk you through what you're going to notice here. In the top left, you have your site settings. So right here, this is where you're going to be able to set your domain. This is where you're going to be able to connect your blog, which show it will help you do. This is where you can add your Google analytics and your social links right here. The next thing you have is your design settings. So right here, this is where you have your site style. So this is where you can just go ahead and switch out fonts. If you'd like to add a new font, um, you can do that right here. You can click add new, or you can choose from the fonts that we have and just leave those as is. This is your color panel right here. This is all the colors that come pre-installed in your, in your um, design whenever you first buy it. One thing that I always suggest is taking a quick screenshot of these colors right here in case you plan on changing them. And that way, if you need to revert back to them for one reason or another, you have them and you're able to easily use an eyedropper tool to get those colors back. Right here, you can see where you can add fonts. So you have access to the entire library of Google fonts, as well as you can add any WAF file to your website media library and then access it right here. So we have a bajillion of them, as you can see. So those, that's what you have going on in the top left section. The last thing is the media library. So in your media library, it might be empty right now. You might be uploading your own images, uploading that beautiful folder of Elevate images that you were provided, um, but you'll have access to Im any images you upload right here. You can click upload right here, and then you can go down to the bottom to add new folders. We usually recommend separating things out into like a brand assets area, and then also your brand images. Um, headshots, portfolios, and things like that. In this left section of Show It, you have all of the different pages that are included in your design, and you're going to see that there are a lot of them. So this is gonna give you a little index of everything that's included, and you're able to browse by page right here. So you can see browsing by page. Then if you tab to the page section, you're gonna be able to see all of the sections on each page. So now you can see, okay, here's the hero, here's this work with us section, here's this new canvas, here's service number one. So you can see right here that this is all of the different sections on each page. In the sections, you can also, if need be, move them around. So you can drag and drop them. You can also toggle them on and off. So right here, I can click this to say, no, I just want that on mobile, or oh, I don't want this on mobile actually, I'm just going to keep it on desktop. There's also this convert to site canvas button right here, which means that you would turn it into a canvas that you can add all the way across your site. And I'll share more about that in just a second. You can see that there's also duplicate, copy, cut, all of those different things. So if you wanted to copy this section to another page on your website, all you would have to do is just click copy and then you could paste it into any other page. Beyond that, we also have these blog templates right here. So now the blog is something that we're going to, we're going to have an entire separate tutorial about in just a minute, so don't worry about that quite yet. 
And then this bottom area is your site canvases. And as I mentioned before, these are canvases that are basically going to be used throughout your site. Things like menus and footers or specific CTA and call to action areas. That's going to be signified by these diagonal lines right here. So this is going to tell you, oh, that's a site canvas. And the important thing to know is that when you edit it, you're going to be editing it throughout your site. So you're going to be able to say, okay, I'm going to change this link and it's going to be only changed one time <laughs> instead of having to change it on every single page. So let's just try it. Explore my site. Did that change? Sure it did. It's a change on all of those pages. On this left hand corner right here, you have your account and this is going to allow you to add a new share key to your library, manage your account, manage your domain names, all of those things right here. And then this is super important. We highly recommend while you're designing your site to have this mobile area open because the way that mobile design works and show it is that it's highly, highly customizable. So you have a ton of control over what your site looks like on mobile. What that also means is that when you make certain changes to mobile or certain changes to desktop, they may not be always reflected on the other option. So for example, I'm gonna show you right here. All right, so this looks great right here. Um, let's try something, let's see. Jeffrey Shipley's website. All right, so I can change this right here and this will look great on desktop. But what you can see that just happened is that on this left-hand side, it's overlapping. And I wouldn't have known that unless I had this mobile area open. So I highly recommend always keeping your mobile area open because one of the most common complaints that we hear is from people who never checked their site on mobile until they were about to launch and all of a sudden, it felt like there was a big mess to clean up. So the other thing that you'll notice is that when you change an image on desktop, it does change on mobile but you actually can break them apart if you want. So for example, right here, I can say, wait a second, I might want this one to be a different image and I can change that right here and say, okay, I want this image to be on mobile and this image to be on desktop. So you're able to change if you would like to, but if you don't select that, it'll automatically be the same. Another thing that will automatically change is if you add an image on desktop like this, just by clicking it, which is that's all you have to do to add an image is just by clicking it like this, it automatically is going to change on mobile. So you'll see that. And then right here, this text automatically changed as soon as I edited it. So again, always keep this mobile area open. I highly recommend that because it's going to be helping you make sure that you don't end up with any messes to clean up. Continuing our little tour, you have the show mobile only version. Then we have the show desktop only version. You have various guides right here. So you have column guides, center guides, anything that you need in, ter in terms of alignment. And then you have your zoom tools right here. So if you wanna zoom in, the, the show it canvas is about 1250, 12, yeah, 1250 pixels wide. So you're going to see when you preview it, this is exactly what it looks like at 1250 pixels. Now, if you make your screen wider, or less, it might look slightly different than what you see in the builder. Don't worry about that, it's totally normal. Um, and we've built our designs to look beautiful no matter how wide or narrow your device is. As you continue here, we have your title and font settings. So if you wanna see the way that your title and font settings are currently set up, you can go to site style. This shows you right here, this is your title, this is your heading, subheading, and paragraph. So you can see, like for example, right here, if I decided I wanted to add some more new text, I could say, okay, I want to add a title, or oh, I want to add a subheading. And you're going to see that those are set right here. So this is a title, this is a subheading, for example. Now, what I typically suggest doing if you want to add more text, if you wanted to add a new text area, is just copying some of the text settings that you already have. So for example, instead of making a new heading, just taking a heading like this and copying it to somewhere else in your site because those fonts are already set up for you. They're already, they've already been SEO managed and that way you don't have to create something from scratch. So highly recommend just copying and pasting a section. For example, if I wanted to create a new section entirely, I could say, okay, I'm just going to copy this section right here. I'm going to go to my page. I'm going to add a blank canvas. I'm going to paste those things in just using command C and command, command V. 
And now I have everything I need to create a whole new section like this. Okay, here we go. All right. I don't really need a button on this. There we go. So this is a whole new section that I can create within seconds just by copying and pasting something else from this, the rest of the site. So that is the easiest way to create new content from your site. Just keep in mind that you basically have purchased an entire website of different kinds of content blocks. And so anytime you need a new section, just feel free to use one of the content blocks that you already have. You can copy and paste all of these things are, you know, this is just an image and then some text on the right hand side. So if you need something like that, just feel free to copy that section. Now the all important the next tool, um, we have your, your shape tools right here. So these are your rectangles, lines, icons. This is where you can embed something, add a video, a gallery, or your social grid. They have a ton of settings. Show it has, a, has done a great job of ensuring that there are a variety of icons that you need, and you can also add custom icons as well. Right here, again, is another access to your media library. For some reason, I always use this one and not the one on the top left. So this is where you're able to access new images if you decided, okay, I wanna add this new image to the page instead of just replacing an image. Now, if you want to replace an image, let's just take a second to talk about this. All you have to do is click an image, and then essentially on this right hand side panel, it's going to be anything that relates to whatever you just clicked on. So right here, I just clicked on this image and now this right hand side panel opened up and you can see everything that has to do with this particular image. All I have to do to swap this out is click the image and then click another image or I can click swap image and that will accomplish the same things. You can see here SEO title and description and then I can see all the information about the size, whether it's centered or not, these are your align tools and they are some of the most helpful things that you have on your website. All I have to do to center something is click this. If I'm not sure if it's centered horizontally, I can click this. I can make sure that things are centered on each other by selecting all of them together and then centering. I can center everything all together. This is, this is super, super vital for ensuring that your site is dialed in. I highly recommend using those align tools. So you can see right here, if it just gets a little bit off, there we go. The next thing that you can see is whenever I click on any text, this panel changes and this is now your text panel. You can see your heading sizes, you can see your sizing, if you want it to be smaller or bigger, if you wanted to change colors, that would be right here. You can change your line height, your letter spacing, the color of your links, all of your information regarding text is right here. This text properties is primarily related to SEO and Ryan has already pre-optimized all of this for you to ensure that it all makes sense. Right here, you can see the same settings for size and position. And then there's one thing we haven't talked about yet, and that is your links. So the way that you set links in show it is called click actions and because it's telling people what kind of click action you want it, you want the builder to take when people click on it. So for example, right here, we know this is supposed to click to the portfolio. All I would have to do to ensure that that's the case or to create a new link is go to click actions right here, click page, and then navigate to the page of your website or the URL that you want to link to. Right here, you can select from all of the different kinds of click actions. So these might be a URL, the top of the page, um, your phone number and SMS. Most of those we're not really using, but the page or the URL are primarily the ones that you're going to use. So this is how you set a link. And if there's a link that's not working, this is where you're going to go to fix it. You can also select links by um, circling all of them like here, and then going to click actions and you can configure the link for all of them at once. So if you wanted all of these to link to the portfolio, that's a quick and easy way to do that. The last things that you're going to see here are the transitions, your hover, and just effects. So if I wanted this to, for example, have rounded corners instead, I can do that right here, which honestly would actually look super cool. So maybe we should try that. Um, the next thing that you have to use on your site is basically just these undo and redo tools right here. And so if you need to undo something or redo something, you can also just use Command Z, which I appreciate very much. So if I don't want this here, I can just Command Z get away. And then on the right hand side, two very important things. Number one, the get help documents that I just mentioned earlier. This opens up this entire library and you can also search very easily. Here's everything related to blogging. 
Um, there's also a really helpful categories. And then this is one of the most underrated things about Show It. Um, we always joke that Squarespace doesn't care about you. You know, there's no such thing as like really helpful Squarespace tech support. Um, but the Show It Builder is extremely, extremely helpful. The Show It Builder, the Show It tech platform is super, super helpful. Oh no, for some reason it's not responding. Um, there we go. My mountain internet is very slow. So this right here is the, this is the show it tech app. And all you have to do is just message them. If you have a question or concern, or they're going to direct you to any particular help documents that you need. So you can send them a message right here. They have drop down menu information. You can see common help docs, but they're super, super responsive. They're really funny. They send, <laughs> they send great gifts and you just tell them we said hi because they are the best tech team support team short of hours that's on the internet. Lastly, on this section, you can see here any information if I don't click anything about the different sectors of the site. So if I just click paid, for example, right here, and I click home, you can see information about the page. So right here, you can see that my page has a white background. The animations are set right here. The SEO settings are set right here. And then there are advanced settings like custom CSS. So one important thing to know about um, this particular site is that on the home page, we've created some of these italic moments right here using Jen Wagner's beautiful font. And you can see that it's actually set in CSS for the italic to be the real italic because in Show It, the Show It Builder, it kind of does a faux italic and we wanted it to be a real one. So if you wanted to remove that and you're changing out the brand fonts, all you would need to do is go to home go to custom CSS right here and you would just delete this text right here and save it. And then that font would change to whatever you want. So that's very important. Now the several other things that you have on your top right area, you just have your preview, which is amazingly helpful for you to be able to preview at any time that your live site is looking like. You can see right here, we lost our italics and then you're published. And so once your site is published, this is how you're going to see any changes reflecting on your website. So this is your tour of getting started with your Show It Builder with your new website. In our next tutorial, we're going to tackle things like switching out your content. We're gonna tackle your portfolio section, a few best practices. And in the last tutorial, we're going to cover your blog. So come back, grab a coffee, and I'll see you in just a minute.